Assalamu alaikum and a very warm welcome to the show. My name is Anwar Mir and you are watching a special program on Channel S tonight. We're talking about the British Bangladeshi who's who and on this particular um, uh, public publication which is going to be launched um, on the 11th, 9th of November 2017, it's going to be the 10th anniversary, a super occasion. It's actually been 10 years since we uh, launched the British Bangladeshi Who's Who and a momentous occasion as it was then and now of course is even greater and grander and we are very excited about this 10th anniversary uh, as I say. Now um, in this particular program we're going to be having guests who are going to explain their involvement in the Who's Who and what it's like and enlightening you a bit about the actual not only publication but the actual initiative uh, uh, itself. But also, um, we're going to be uh, looking at a clip of 2016 so that you can simply uh, have a taste of what it was like in the preceding year and what you can uh, expect in this year. For those of you who do not know about the British Bangladeshi Who's Who, this is an annual publication where uh, the creme de la creme of the British Bangladeshi community are flagged up and highlighted about their contributions both in the past and uh, currently uh, uh, within, the, uh, within the country. And uh, moreover... Uh, we also have various different initiatives within it. So, for example, this year we've got a, a charity partner, and you'll be hearing about that in a little bit more, uh, so that it's not just about those individuals who are featured within it, but it's also about the activities of the uh, community itself and the kinds of things that they actually uh, get up to, because it's not just about their personal accomplishments and achievements, it's about the engagement and involvement that they have within the wider community too. Now, ladies and gentlemen, just before we watch that particular clip, which I just mentioned, um, I'm going to first introduce my guests to you, then go to the clip, and then I'm going to have a discussion uh, with them about uh, the uh, initiative that we're going to be discussing uh, today. Uh, to my uh, immediate right is uh, Barrister Shahdat Karim, who is the editor of the British Bangladeshi Who's Who, uh, obviously not an unknown face, uh, a very distinguished practicing barrister uh, from prestigious chambers in Lincoln's Inn and um, I'm pleased to uh, introduce you to him today. Barrister Shadrat Karim, Assalamu alaikum and a warm welcome to the show. Welcome Salam and thank you very much for having me. Uh, you're most welcome and uh, to my uh, extreme right, again not an unknown face, um, a distinguished community activist, a councillor of repute for many many years and also very philanthropic philanthropical in her activities, um, the kinds of uh, work that she's been involved in, I mean, if we were to actually list them, we would t eat into a lot of our airtime. So I'm sure you will forbear uh, for me not mentioning uh, all of her attributes and accomplishments, but suffice to say she's none other than Councillor Aisha Chowdhury, and we're delighted that she could take her time out of her busy schedule to join us today. Uh, Aisha, Assalamu alaikum. Thank you. Welcome to the show. Assalamu alaikum. Anwar Babul Bhai. Dhanubad, on the phone, Dhanubad, I'm going to invite you to Assalamu alaikum to all your viewers, Channel S viewers. Thank you very much indeed. To my extreme uh, left, ladies and gentlemen, is somebody who uh, has actually not only been working very hard for the community, but also reaches out to the wider community as a result of which the, uh, Her Majesty the Queen has uh, recognized him and awarded him a, 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 an MBE. Uh, uh, professionally, he also uh, works for the local authority and he's also the founder of this year's charity partner of the British Bangladeshi Who's Who, and that's the charity known as Just Smiles. And, um, and therefore, I, I'm pleased to welcome uh, Farouk Bhai uh, with us today. Assalamu alaikum Farouk Bhai, how are you? Alaikum, I'm all right, I'm very well. Thank, Thank you, you very much indeed. And finally, ladies and gentlemen, last but not least, is the managing director of a, uh, a prestigious enterprise. It's, uh, um, it's a financial services provider, uh, very well known with a, a huge amount of uh, activity. They've got uh, hundreds of agents uh, throughout the length and breadth of the UK and have a presence internationally as well. And we're absolutely delighted that the CEO, uh, Mr. Sanam Mir, is able to join us today. Sanam Bhai, Assalamu alaikum. Welcome to the show. Assalamu alaikum. Thank you, Honor Bhai, to bring this program and especially thank you to Who is Who and especially Dhanubai Danai, Shabai Ramu Chalana Shabai Biyad. Thank you very much indeed. Yes, of course, uh, ladies and gentlemen, uh, uh, thank you to uh, yourselves for, for, for watching this program and also for, to Channel S for allowing us this platform to be able to share with you the great initiative that is the British Bangladeshi Who's Who. Um, at this particular point in time, we would like to show you a clip 
of the preceding year, the gala dinner that took place at the prestigious Meridian Grand in London. And we hope that you'll be able to have a taste of what uh, the guests at the gala dinner in 2017 can expect. I'm very impressed already, and I've only got here 10 minutes ago. Are you impressed with me or the actual venue? It's impressive. Um, I love the setting, I love the grandeur, I love the, um, the interaction. Um, I want to see who's who. Excited? Yes, very excited. I'm always very thrilled to come to this event, and I'm uh, very passionate about this, and um, just uh, I'm ready to mingle. To see lots of friends, a uh, good cultural program, and um, a bit of a surprise, I think. important that we showcase. I think this is showcase of Bengalis doing really, really well. If you think about your father, my father, when they came to this country, this is what they would have dreamt of for their children. Thank you. Uh, excited to be here, actually, just meeting everyone uh, from our community, which is a fantastic place to meet. My first time, and absolutely amaz amazing, looks really fantastic and really pleased to be here. I think it's fantastic, it's gorgeous. It looks like a red carpet event, because I'm just looking around, and everyone looks so gorgeous. They've made such an effort to come out. Your Excellency, Mr. Nazmul Kwanain, the High Commissioner of the People's Republic of Bangladesh to the UK, Baroness Manzila Udin, Labour Peer, House of Lords, Mr. Silesh Vara, MP, Ex-Parliamentary Undersecretary, Ministry of Justice, Rishnara Ali, MP, UK Trade Envoy for Bangladesh, Mr. John Biggs, Executive Mayor of the London Borough of Tower Hamlets. We have a few surprises along the way. I won't reveal anything now. Welcome to the ninth instalment of the British Bangladeshi Who's Who Gala and Awards. Um, it's a great pleasure to be here tonight to support this great uh, event. The Who's Who team just make their events more and more fantastic each year. I would like to also invite onto the stage the founder of Channel S, uh, Mahi Fedos Jolil. Would you please kindly come onto the stage now?
website, so many sponsors and partners, media groups. It's a really great site. Another round of applause, please. Can we have a big round of applause for all the sponsors that are on stage? Without them, this wouldn't have been possible. Okay. All that's left now is for me to introduce the Who's Who 2016 team, the team that have put this incredible event together. And I have to start with the main man himself, Mr. Abdul Karim Goni. It's because of him that we're all here today. Okay, now it's the other way around. We want to thank you for supporting us, for coming out here on a Thursday evening. Without you, this would not have been possible. Thank you so very much. Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. What a fabulous evening that was. Just a taste of what we uh, uh, experienced on that occasion. And uh, as I understand it, this year we've got so many exciting things uh, to look forward to as well. The publication itself, the 10th anniversary of which will be launched on that occasion, on the 9th of November uh, of this year at the Meridian Grand, uh, will look something similar to this because this is last year's one. It comprises over 200 profiles, as I say, of the leading members of our community and um, through fierce competition, those who are lucky enough to be featured in it are people who uh, have accomplished um, uh, and achieved uh, a lot, not only in their personal life, but also in, sorry, what I meant was not only in their personal achievements, but also their outreach towards the wider uh, community. Um, and ladies and gentlemen, um, perhaps I may begin by asking the editor of the Who's Who just to outline in a nutshell what it's all about, because I suspect there are people out there who uh, are not familiar uh, with the British Bangladeshi who's who, and therefore I turn to Barrister Shadrach Kareem and pose this particular question. Um, uh, Barrister Shadrach Kareem, um, there are many within the committee who are familiar with the British Bangladeshi who's who, but in, in a few words, um, are you able to please explain uh, what the British Bangladeshi who's who is about? Sure. It's a publication which showcases the achievements of the movers and shakers of our community. So. We're not focused on wealth per se, we're focused on a number of facets, so anything from academia to altruism. So we try and cover as many different aspects of life and it's supposed to be an all-encompassing publication, essentially celebrating the best of the British Bangladeshi community. And I know it's been a, a long journey, a very tough journey. Perhaps at the embryonic stages of it, you had cognitive dissonance. You were worried about whether or not how many years it's going to be uh, going on for. And of course, with the grace of God, uh, we now see that we're looking forward to hopefully uh, the 10th anniversary, inshallah, uh, going to be taking place later on uh, in next month. Um, how, how does it feel that you've reached this milestone? Because that is precisely uh, what it is, 10 years. Well, interesting you asked me this question. During the um, short clip which the viewers were watching, I was actually flicking through the publication itself and obviously being involved in the publication we often ha forget and we often don't look at this from a sort of objective perspective but I think it's it's quite a massive achievement for our community what, what we've achieved and for it to be showcased through this publication I think speaks volumes about where this community has come in the last not 10 years but in the last 100 years um, and as you rightly point out this is our first milestone. We say hopefully, inshallah, this is the first of many to come. Absolutely. And I know that whenever we have private discussions, you constantly keep saying that uh, it's, this is not just about uh, uh, the, the Who's Who group. This is not about uh, yourself even. This is about the community and the support that you get from institutions and community groups, even Channel S Television, who, who support this particular initiative. Uh, and we're grateful to Channel S Television for the support that they give not only to this uh, publication, but also all the other uh, initiatives that, that, that they take place. You have sponsors who uh, support you. Um, uh, the entire community actually rallies around this, don't they? Of course. I mean, I've always said this publication is not about myself or my father or even the Who's Who team. Yeah. This is about the whole community. And it is like institutions such as Channel S and institutions such as yourself, in fact. Yeah. And, and <laughs> I think it's fair enough to call you an institution. But 
many well-wishers, uh, supporters, both financial as well as emotional supporters, who have helped us from day one. It is because of them, it is because of the community, it is because of the achievements of the individuals who feature in our publication that this is possible. Otherwise, we would have an empty pu publication which would run to a few pages consisting of just a few adverts. But it's the people inside the publication which make it what it is. And, of course, it's the entire community. Very well said. Thank you very much, Barrister Shadid Karim. I'm going to now turn to Councillor Aisha Afa, who um, is... Uh, 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 not only featured within the publication, uh, but you've been a very kind and generous supporter of the initiative and, uh, you know, you yourself have supported uh, this initiative in terms of uh, the, uh, the, 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 the effect that it actually now has uh, over the years and the publication that it now is. Are you able to please tell our viewers why it is that you support this publication? Um, uh, thank you very much, um, Anwar Babulbai. It's a, a very good question. Um, if I can start with uh, uh, Abdul Karim Gonibai. Uh, Gonibai is a friend, not um, since who is who has begun, but I would say over 20 years. Um, I know Gonibai. He has uh, been involved in media. Um, he has got lots of uh, creative ideas, new ideas and initiative. But I would like to say a big thank you to Gonibai, not only because of who is who, but for for um, his all the lovely children, especially Shahadat Karim Ghani, uh, Shahadat Karim, um, because of him, I think we can see many other young people in the community who are getting um, active, involved, and and many young uh, generation are into this um, uh, book as well. Now, in my case, I think I don't have a good memory. I do remember people, but I don't really remember the name, and I, can, I find it's really difficult to put the name into a face. So whenever I need to call someone or talk to someone, I struggle. This particular book has been helping me for the past 10 years. When I need to talk to somebody, I can just look for the person's profile so, and make sure that I am talking or calling the right person. Right. Even if I need to call you, I can put your name with the face together with the, the book. Right, I, so you raised two very important points here. One which is the inspiration, uh, which not only um, uh, Barrister Shah the Cream and people like him are, uh, and of course his siblings who have all done very well, uh, but also uh, apart from the inspiration point, you talk about it as a reference point, that if there is a, a need, it's a go-to publication so that people can actually look up who is doing what within the community and what assistance and networking can be obtained uh, with this as a source. So these are very two important points and thank you very much for that and we'll come back to you in a moment. Now, uh, ladies and gentlemen, um, our next uh, guest who I'm going to actually now turn to is somebody who, uh, before this publication, I wasn't aware of the, uh, uh, and, and uh, I wish I had because his achievements and what he gets up to is actually quite fantastic and when we talk about unsung heroes, uh, he is the, 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 uh, you know, the, the, the textbook definition of it because he doesn't uh, show himself uh, within the community, he keeps a low profile, which he shouldn't do, but he does because he's modest. Uh, but uh, we'd like to hear about the kinds of things he does, and in particular, um, I know that he won't mind talking about the charitable initiative that he's behind because he seems to pro uh, spend most of his time doing precisely that, giving to others uh, and not flagging up himself. But I'm afraid, uh, Farouk Bhai, um, we're going to be flagging you up. Uh, and we need to because you are the kind of inspiration and the unsung hero uh, that we talk about. Uh, you have not only achieved uh, an MBE, you're not only a professional, but you're now the founder of Just Smiles, the charity partner that we are proud to be associated uh, with. Please tell us a little bit about your charity, but before you do that, um, what your thoughts are on the who's who. Um, thank you, um, Anurabha. It's so often I'm lost for words, but you've kind of managed to do that, I think, a little bit. Anyway, let me tell you a little bit about my involvement with who's who. Um, I moved to London in 2010, so this will be my eighth year that I'm actually attending the Who's Who. And there are many events that I actually attend throughout the whole year. I love networking, I love meeting people, but this is my favourite night every year. And I tell all my friends, and, and Shadot and Gonibai will know, I, every year I always bring lots of my friends with me to support the cause, because I really believe in this. And the main reason why I believe in this, because I can't think of another... Um, whether it's a publication or another organization who do something to highlight the achievements of the cross-section of our community, both in terms of professions and also geographically. So there are other kind of like, I'd say, industry-based, whether it's curry or business, etc. There, there are different awards, but this one, I just love the evening. It's kind of almost, it's a formal event, but I almost feel it's informal. We can all get together and, and network and meet people. And actually seeing that book 
is definitely inspirational. Because when you see other people, and this is how I guess I've started in a way. I, I remember one of the very first awards I received, maybe well over 10 years ago, was a Channel S um, award in this very studio. And they were one of the very first people who started recognition of unsung heroes, you could say, within our communities. And I'd been doing like youth work, community work, kind of charitable stuff since the age of about 14. Mm. So over the years, you go on from that, that to other awards I've received. Then I was in the top 10 teachers in the whole country. And that's where it led to eventually getting an MBE. I'm still, I think, the only British Bangladeshi who has an MBE from the Queen for Services to my profession, which is working in further and adult education. So it hopefully will inspire other people who work in that particular profession. And I, in, in recent time, I've been speaking to a lot of people. So how on earth did you achieve these particular awards? And I've been working with people yeah. in terms of whether it's mentoring, coaching, yeah. Yeah. And, and fulfilling people's dreams. Absolutely. Um, now, I just I, I would like you to very briefly tell us about the charity, because okay. I need to move on to my next guest. We've got Sure. coming up so um, uh, two, two, two um, and as you know last year who's who had a charity partner as well and I was involved with them and after that I was actually in Bangladesh I've actually been in Bangladesh a couple of times in in the, in the last year or so one of the things I realized there is so many people within our community who, who are raising money in particular from the Bangladesh community for causes in Bangladesh yeah, whether it's for disability, whether it's a school or a madrasa, or, or right now, the stuff going on with the Rohingyas, for example. But one of the things I realize is like, we've now lived in this country, that many of us are born here, we came here very young, people have children here, we've been here 20, 30, 40, 50 years. Not many of us are actually doing raising money for causes that are on our doorstep. So We're actually here, charity so, begins so, at home. So charity yeah. with, with the difference. So, so the charity, with the, this is our yep. main aim, which we'll sure. talk about uh, a bit We'll later. talk about it later, yeah. so, so only so, because of time I'm having to uh, sure, sure. Uh, move on. Salam bhai. Now, basically, uh, uh, in relation to your involvement within the Husu, I know you've been pre featured in it previously. I know you're doing extremely well in enterprise, and uh, um, it is people like you as well. Uh, who actually push the community to another level because entrepreneurship is very big in the British Bangladeshi community and it is uh, 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 amazing that not only we have people from politics, from, from law, from uh, education, but also from, uh, from business. business. Uh, and uh, what would you like to say to our viewers about you, the who's who and, and yeah, your thank views? You. Uh, first of all, when I saw the one, I used to know his dad you know, for lo long before, so, and I was so glad you know, that he has brought this. <laughs> if you look at the 10 years back or 15 years back, we didn't have anything like this stuff here. Yeah? We have a talent, we have a business, we have a different jobs, people in this, uh, in this country, but uh, nobody knows. They've been hiding all over, you know, mm. all over UK. Uh, this is the who's the who's brought them and then uh, when I looked at the first edition and I was so glad you know that at least even I learned myself and so many people in our communities uh, th they're doing very well yes. and people like business like us of course you know people we need to support them you know and inshallah we are doing this here as well supporting who is who as well to do this uh, program so I'll ask uh, other business people as well come forward support this uh, program and who is one of the unique uh, uh, unique program is going to be unique and uh, what I saw another thing is, you know, uh, we, we, we have, as brother said, you know, we have a car industry, we have a business, uh, other thing, but as a professional and the business all combined, we, ha we didn't have any platform. And this is the only platform where you can see everyone is in one platform. Absolutely. It's a wide spectrum of the community, a cross section, as Farouk Bay has actually put it, and, um, uh, and a source of inspiration as well as Aisha Appa very, uh, put it very well. Now, ladies and gentlemen, we must go on to a short break. When we come back, we will be continuing uh, this particular discussion. We hope you stay tuned and we will learn a little bit more uh, about an insight into the British Bangladesh Huzu, what it means for the community and what, if anything, it can do uh, by way of an inspiration or, uh, of course, a reference point. Uh, because one thing is for sure, that if this publication had been in existence not just 10 years ago, but many, many years ago before that, that would be an absolute delight because we would have been able to see what our ancestors had achieved and the hard work and the, the drive and the diligence that they had to be able to make sure that people uh, uh, within our community can be uh, accomplished and successful, successful that they are. So do stay with us. We'll be back after this break. Thank you. Assalamu alaikum and uh, welcome back to the show. You're watching uh, a special program on the British Bangladeshi uh, Who's Who, and my name is Anwar Mir, and uh, we have 
replacing our previous guests, four more guests, who are going to be discussing this particular initiative and the publication, as well as the gala dinner, which is going to be held on the 9th of November of this year. Uh, just before I introduce my guests, ladies and gentlemen, there will be a number at the bottom of your screens. It is an interactive show. If you have any comments or questions you would like to pose to either the panel or, or, or generally, um, if you'd like to make a, a comment, please do call in and we would be uh, delighted to hear what you have to say. Um, I turn to my uh, uh, immediate right. Uh, we have with us uh, Mr. Uh, Monir Ahmed, who is the chairman of GMG Cargo, a very popular company uh, within the United Kingdom. In fact, it has a European presence, and uh, he's the chairman of not only the UK, but also the European operations. Monir Bhai, welcome Thank to you. the show. Thank you for joining us. And next to him, ladies and gentlemen, is uh, an entrepreneur, a very prominent businessman in North Wales, and uh, his name is Mr. Altab Saeed. Saeed Bhai, alaikum. Thank you for joining us. Um, long journey from Wales? Yes, it's, it's worth it. Uh, absolutely. Thank you very much indeed. Very kind of you. Uh, to my immediate left, ladies and gentlemen, is somebody from a completely different industry. He's the general manager of Biman Bangladesh Airlines UK and Ireland. And prior to that, he was the general manager of Biman in Dhaka. And um, he has become not only uh, someone who's very effective in his portfolio and the work that he does uh, with Biman, but his uh, involvement with the, com with the community is actually remarkable because he's been not only warmly received but very well respected because of the amazing work that he does uh, with Biman and indeed the community itself and therefore we are absolutely delighted and pleased to be able to have Muhammad Shafiqul Islam uh, with us today. Shafiq Bhai, Salam Welcome to the show. Wa Thank Welcome. you for joining us. Thank you. And uh, next to him, ladies and gentlemen, is somebody who is uh, an instrumental uh, player within the Who's Who team. She runs her own events company known as Pearl uh, uh, Advertising. And um, she's also very well known because she's involved with a number of different initiatives and activities, sometimes behind the scenes, but she is what makes those uh, events uh, materialize and be very effective uh, uh, as the end result. Her name is Suhana Ahmed. Suhana Apa, Salam alaikum, welcome to the show. Salam alaikum, thanks for having me. You're absolutely uh, welcome, very uh, mo most welcome, of course. Um, and uh, we therefore will hear from our guests as to what they think about the publication, their involvement in it, and what they would like to say uh, about it. I'll turn first, therefore, uh, to Manir Bhai. Now, Manir Bhai, uh, you have been involved in this particular uh, publication and initiative for a number of years now. Uh, you've been uh, very um, kind in your support of it. You've, you know, you, you've made sure that the networking about it is very effective. Uh, what would you like to tell our viewers as to your views uh, on this particular publication? Dhanubad. Patamaya, I am going to tell you that we have a lot of British and Bangladeshi community. We have a lot of people who are doing a lot of work. We have a lot of people who are doing a lot of work. We have a lot of people who are doing a lot of work. We have a lot of people who are doing a lot of work. We have a lot of people who are doing a lot of work. के की करें चाहिए इटा आश्चर्य आगे कुनो चिलो ना आगे कुनो इनिशिएटिव चिलो ना यही इस रूम आदमी आम्रा आश्चर्य ये गोनीबाई एवं उनका टीम उनका फैमिली उनका एक टी बुक हुई इस हुई ना मेरे बुक टी तरह प्रकाशन ना करते सें इटा हम आदमी आश्चर्य आम्रा आमदे एचीवमेंट गुला एक जगह एक जगह थे � अशोले एक जनो अमी अमर पक्को ते के अमर व्यवसायी व्यवसायी देर पक्को ते के अमी दोनों बात जाना ची प्रथमे गोनीबाई एवं उनका टीम के जे कुप सुंदर एक टाइम इनिशिएटिव उनका रनी है चन एवं आमादेर कमी ची ते आमादेर भविष्यत पर जन मजारा आस्ते से विभिन्नो एचिप करते से तारा वो ऐखने अशोले आज � इंस्पिरेशन मनी तरह उत्साहित हो बे आमादेर ये काजर जन्नो तरह बालों को रख चेष्टा कर बे अभी मने करी ये टा ये शोमायर जन्नो ये टा कुबी प्रोजेक्शन चिलो एवं जरा व्यवसायी रहे चेन बामार पक्को ते के अभी सपोर्ट करते सी अभी अशोले ये बुके रख जन पार्ट ऑफ बुक अभी खाने कुनो एक बच्चों जा मी एक टाइम वार्ड आम के उन आदमी योर वार्ड वेनर दैट्स राइट यार एक जन ना आमी दोनों बाद हुई हुई टीम के एवं आमी जो तो दिन आम व्यवस्था चली है जबो आमी आमी सपोर्ट कर बो एवं आमी आह्वान कर बो जरा ये ब्रिटेने 
ইউরোপে যারা বসবাস করতেছেন যারা ব্যবসায়ী বৃন্দ রয়েছেন তারা যেন এই বুকটি প্রকাশনার জন্য প্রতি বছর যে একটা খরচের প্রয়োজন বা একটা সুন্দর আয়োজনের প্রয়োজন সবাই যেন এগিয়ে আসেন কারণ এটা আপনি বলতে পারেন আমাদের একটা রেফারেন্স বুক আপনি বলতে পারেন একটা বুকের মধ্যে আমরা আমাদের এচিপগুলা জড়ো করতে পারি একটা বুকের মধ্যে একটা আসলে এটা আসলে খুবই যদিও আমরা খুব সাধারণ মনে করতেছি সময়ে একদিন বলবে এটা আসলে খুব অসাধারণ ছিল এবং এটা আমাদের প্রয়োজন এবং ভবিষ্যতে এই বুকটি প্রতি বছর প্রকাশ প্রকাশ হওয়ার জন্য আমাদের যতটুকু প্রয়োজন আমরা করব আমরা সম্মানিত হব মনির ভাই থ্যাঙ্ক ইউ ভেরি মাচ ভেরি ওয়েল সাইড এ লট অফ ইনফরমেশন দ্যাট ইউ প্রোভাইডেড এন্ড ভেরি ডিটেইলড ইনফরমেশন হুইচ উইল হেল্প আস আন্ডারস্ট্যান্ড হোয়াট দিস ইজ অল अबाउट থ্যাঙ্ক ইউ ভেরি মাচ সাইড ভাই আই এম গোইং টু আস্ক ইউ দ্যাট ইউ আর ফ্রম নর্থ ওয়েলস um sometimes out of the loop we don't automatically uh, understand what's going on by way of the community itself in north wales but is it not the case that through this publication people who are active people who are achieving and accomplished um if they are from your part of the country um that that we're able to recognize and document uh, uh what what they're up to people like yourself you're a prominent businessman but um uh, we need to know about you so that other people as monibra was saying can be inspired and it can be a reference point uh, uh, of that how do you think that north wales can be put on the map by members of your area in your community people in your area in north wales being featured in the book assalamu alaikum mani anurbabul bhai asole the mani bhai je khotara khoisun uh exactly same i'm share with in same feeling because i have been involvement as goni is my class friend and when he first take the initiative to publish this such a book i came to one of the program in london maybe 10 years since 10 years mm. ago and there is a program for collecting money for the charity for the one of the victim in bangladesh and he, he imposed me and express his feeling because i know in the past he produced uh, books like a village digest and such a things and he also told me there is who is who is the program uh, the books is going to produce there is uh, books for the south africa india they have got but is bangladesh people has to produce something like that what brother munir bhai says that you know this books is has give you identity of corner to corner the great britain bangladesh uh, young generation who has got you know there's so many people we don't know so um as far as i'm concerned this whose whose books is produced year to year it's gone strength to strength and uh, as you say i'm from the such a uh, remote area bangor north wells last two years ago he has given me some books and i put in the library and some of the people in local people oh that's very interesting and the was of about i think was six seven books or one of the boxes he given i just gone like that So I have a friend who is in a local council and uh, friends as well and they're very interesting anyway to look into the books and recognizing you uh, who, who is Bangladeshi and who uh, Absolutely. Uh, uh, l- l- let me ask you. I mean <coughs> um in North Wales there is a Bangladeshi presence there as well the British Bangladeshi presence there. There are people who are, uh, are ancestrally Bangladeshi. They're also achieving very well. I mean throughout the length and breadth of the United Kingdom we have British Bangladeshi doctors, lawyers, accountants, uh, professionals in all sorts of other fields as well in addition to entrepreneurs. And is it not the case that uh, the community as a whole need to understand uh, and be inspired by these wonderful achievements by the British Bangladeshi communities uh, because often uh, those British Bangladeshi children as they then were are having to achieve and do so well facing a great deal of challenges often from deprived areas uh, often in large families overcrowded accommodation yet we find them achieving and doing far greater in their academic sphere than even people going to private school and then when they go on to achieve and be accomplished and and, and have professional jobs uh, we need to know that don't we so that other children uh, who normally cannot see beyond the street corner can see these individuals and say look if they can do it so can we is that so so my question to you is uh, in, in terms of one of inspiration um, you have in your part of the united kingdom the british bangladesh community who is also doing very well do we not then yeah, th- need is, uh, them to come out as well and be featured in this this book? is exactly what i'm just trying to say because this books as i say when i put into the library 
and the area how we lived anyway this is just very uh, there is uh, very uh, little amount of uh, you know our uh, culture but mashallah is growing now at the moment good and uh, the, there is a university town in bangor mm -hmm. and there's a uh, multi i'm also involved with the community and i was the last two years in bangor islamic center as a chair and the most uh, Middle East people come in, and the, the, some of them have they looked at the book, and they're very, very excited. And uh, believe me, I brought uh, about two years ago one of the councillors here, uh, the right. chairman of the local council, sure. and he has expressed this this view when he came to this uh, event. Uh, who is who? And now he's experiencing the, his local community. Fantastic. And he is Brilliant. looking forward. And you also invite him to come in here. Thank you, Saeed. I'm now this going to turn to Shafiq yeah. Bai. Um, uh, now, Shafiq Bai, you you work. Uh, for um, the national airline of Bangladesh, yeah. um, you engage with people throughout the world. You know, you 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 you. you um, we're very pleased that you are now uh, focusing your efforts on in Britain and you know your operations here. You engage with the British Bangladesh community, not just with the hat of the Biman, yeah. but because of that, I think uh, you you know you you really engage with the community very well, and and and, and they're very fond of you. Um, what do you think about the, the initiative, about the British Bangladesh community that you find yourself facing in the United Kingdom, the people that you meet, the community, the, the largely celebrity, but now, of course, from all over the, uh, the country of Bangladesh? Um, what is your view of the community here? Okay, thank you, Arurban Bhai. First of all, I express my deepest gratitude to the British Bangladesh Huzu team who are behind the scene, Abdul Karim Gunibai and his team, to invite me here and to give us the opportunity to engage Biman Bangladesh Airlines with this British Bangladeshi Who's Who initiative. You know that Biman Bangladesh Airlines is a national carrier of Bangladesh, national flagship carrier. The British Bangladeshi, they have a history with the evolution of Biman in 1972. Immediately after the liberation, Biman has been in, uh, uh, come into operation in 1972 with the help of British Bangladeshi people who were at the time, they have uh, helped that our great national leader Bangladesh Sheikh Mujibur Rahman to purchase a Dakota 3 to start Biman operation. They helped uh, financially, they helped uh, physically, and they helped to get the uh, Biman operation in the UK at that time. So when Biman right now in a position, we did not forget their contribution towards the national carrier. So whenever we got the latest aircraft in our fleet, immediately we deployed that aircraft in UK. And you know, the British Bangladeshi uh, is a, a vibrant community uh, here, and they are growing day by day. And Biman, as a national carrier, whenever I came uh, join here, I wanted to keep British Bangladeshi on board in Biman Bangladeshi Airlines. And to keep my product always in your mind, I usually participate all of your events, all of your programs, and I invite all of you because I know you are my passengers, some are today, some are tomorrow. So usually I want to go all of your, uh, all of your community programs, and I want, Biman should be engaged, all of your good initiatives. <coughs> From that perspective, I, every day, I join off your any program and I also uh, engage Biman Bangladesh Airlines with this British Bangladesh initiatives. Thank you very much, Shafiq Bhai. And I, I also know that the community really values and yes. treasures uh, the kindness that Biman Bangladesh Airlines and you yourself have done because you go beyond the call of duty exactly. um, uh, to reach out to the community and take your valuable time out uh, to join us in all of our events. And we're very grateful to, f for that. And of course, uh, Biman Bangladesh Airlines. Uh, and with that, I would like to add anything. Yep. As mm. you know, from the viewpoint of the corporate social responsibility, yep. Biman is engaged in many things, mm. especially if you see the Bangladesh national cricket. Yeah. Biman once upon a time, Biman sponsored the national cricket for the long time. Biman maintained a cricket team in the Premier League. Yeah. And also Biman sponsored football team yeah. and lots of government uh, uh, trade uh, fair and tourism fair, we will always sponsor all such kinds of events. Fantastic. Thank you very much indeed. I'm going to now move to uh, Suhana Appa um, uh, and uh, ask her about your involvement in the Who's Who. What would you like to say? And, and when you talk about your involvement, could you please touch on also the awards aspect of it? Because Monir Bhai uh, very deservedly won an award. Um, and uh, can you please tell us a little bit about that as well? So your involvement and the awards side of it. 
Okay. Well, it's actually funny because the, the first time Konibai approached me was I was actually at a Husu event as a guest. And then he asked if like, the next year I would get involved, and I did. This is my fifth year running with the Who's Who. Um, when you talk about the awards, the, um, the winners are, they're, they're, you know, they're, 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 there's a committee. They sit together, they decide. You know, it's not just like, oh, he's going to win, he's going to win, she's going to win. A lot of decisions taken in, uh, in, in deciding. Um, we, we spend a lot of time on the who's who. A lot of people don't realize they turn up on the day, they eat, they enjoy themselves, they socialize, they take photos and they leave. But um, it takes us a minimum of six months to put this event together because it's not just the book, it's the whole um, promotion. And ma also making sure that, for example, um, we have Biman Airlines, we have JMG Cargo. They've been not, I mean, yeah, he's a winner, but also they've been supporting it every year. And, you know, it's obviously we help market them as well, the branding, we push the branding, we make sure that they're happy. So they stay, stay with us every year. And in terms of the networking uh, that's taking place, not just at the event itself, which, as you say, a lot of work goes into, but in terms of the publication, that in itself is de facto networking, isn't it? Because if somebody wants um, a, a, a cargo company or, a, or, 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 or any other sort of uh, operation or any other sort of you know, services, Absolutely. they can look at the book, see who's providing that, put a face to the enterprise and have a sense of confidence in that. Okay, absolutely, but let, let's get one thing straight. Everyone knows James E. Cargo now. They brand themselves very well. Mm. They're internationally known. Everyone knows Bangladesh Biman. Um, but when they come here, they get to meet them. What else are you going to meet the country manager for Bangladesh Biman Airlines for UK and Ireland? <laughs> Not everywhere. Do you know what I mean? So it's, it's a very unique event. And also, what it is, is a lot of, it, this book, a lot of people don't know, but Bangladesh Biman also, they do have it in their first class uh, flights. And also it's in the British Library. So it's, as far as I know, it's actually the only British Bangladesh publication in the British Library. Um, and a lot of other awards that take place after us, or even in the following year, they l use this book to then find their award winners too. So it's a great reference point and of course, of course. Uh, the fact that it's, uh, uh, it has a very warm place in uh, Biman Airlines, um, you know, it, it really does mean that the British Bangladeshi who um, has taken off. I want to come to um, uh, uh, Monir Bhai uh, because uh, Suhana Appa said something very important which was about the, uh, the fact that everyone knows GMG Cargoes. But when people read this publication, when they read about you, what you do, um, their understanding of JMG Cargo is not just about it being a cargo company. It shows the, the, the kind of compassion behind the company, the kind of amazing charitable work that you do, the kind of community support that you do, because I know you're engaged w with supporting the entire community, just like Biman Bangladesh Airlines does, um, a lot of other enterprises, yours as well, does that. So when they read about what, you know, what you get up to and the kinds of things you do, it does give that sense of understanding and confidence in your company and therefore enhances your brand. So is it the case that it, you know, your presence and your uh, um, you know, background within that publication is actually helpful? Of course. We are in Chicago, we are in the Tri-Korea community. Community event, event, event uh, support for our journal. We have our sponsor. But who is who? We have to say that we are doing this on a certain level. Because this is our motto: unlimited, uh, unlimited. Because of uh, who is who, Madhu, me, the things that we are doing, our uh, community is doing. বা যেটা পাবে ওইটা কিন্তু অন্যান্য অন্যান্য ইভেন্টে সচরাচর অন্যান্য ইভেন্টে এইভাবে হয় না কারণ এটা মূলত কমিউনিটির জন্য কমিউনিটির লাভের জন্য কমিউনিটির অতীতে যারা কমিউনিটির জন্য করেছেন ভবিষ্যতে যারা করবেন এবং বর্তমানে যারা আমরা যারা ব্যবসা বাণিজ্য করছি বা বিভিন্ন অ্যাচিভ করছি সবাইকে একটি বুকে নিয়ে আসাটা অনেক কঠিন এবং এটা আসলে আমি এর জন্য আমি বলছি একটু আগে যে আমি এই বুকটি যতদিন প্রকাশিত হবে আমার জে এম জি ওই এইটার সাথে কারণ এটা আমাদের কমিউনিটির জন্য ব্যবসায়ীদের জন্য আমাদের ভবিষ্যতের ভবিষ্যৎ প্রজন্মের জন্য খুবই প্রয়োজনীয় বলে আমি মনে করি এবং এটার এটার ভ্যালু Unlimited. Absolutely, and I was yeah. I was actually just looking through your own profile here. Yeah. So whilst it is fair to say that you are uh, known as the face of James Chicago, yeah. um, profile will know that you have a huge portfolio 
the kind of uh, um, positions that you hold in various companies yeah. and organizations, community initiatives and charitable projects. So when people see that and then they think, oh, James Chicago, look at the gentleman behind it doing some fantastic work. Um, I, you know, in, in, my, in my opinion, I think it's, it's great to know that people like you are doing so well, not just in business, but actually giving back to the community. I do want to turn back to Shafiq Bai, though. Um, uh, in terms of uh, the Biman Bangladesh Airlines, um, obviously, uh, as the national carrier, uh, we're immensely proud of it going from strength to strength, and we want to see it even go even further. Um, in terms of the British Bangladeshi community, um, putting aside, parking aside the, the Biman uh, hat for a moment, um, in terms of the British Bangladeshi community, you've been engaging with the community for some time. Yeah. You've seen the progress that our children have made yeah. uh, and our individuals have made. Um, how do you regard it? What have you seen over the years that you've actually been here? Actually, for my experience of last two and a half years, I have seen the pro uh, British Bangladeshi community is very vibrant and going forward. For example, if you see the uh, publication of uh, who's who, this publication year to year, I kept it as a reference for every year. And every year, there is some new faces coming in this book, and there is a committee uh, who are maintaining some criteria to pick them in this book. So it is the recognition of their performance in this community. It is a reference book, and uh, th this book uh, introducing us every year some new talents of British Bangladeshi community who is um, uh, in some mainstream businessmen, some mainstream politicians and in different sources. And they are the icon for the next third and fourth generation British Bangladeshi. They can follow these people, keeping this book as a reference. We onboard this book in Biman uh, on board, uh, cabin. Also, I kept this book in my office and I, I also uh, have observed whoever received this book they kept it as a reference, they kept it in their library, they did not throw it, like other uh, 10 to 12 uh, uh, publications. So this is the thing I see when I follow this book, the British Bangladeshi community, their progress uh, in different uh, sectors like accountancy profession, uh, law professions, and also some business uh, professions. Now they are going very forward. Absolutely, thank you very much. Yeah. And I, sorry, did you want to say yeah, something more about something? Yeah. yeah. This book, uh, nobody can destroy. This book stay in in world uh, year to year. But Amar Biasha hoy to as theke doshposor pore nao takte pare. Mone koren ek jon ami hoy to support korte si, sponsor korte si. Bishposor pore hoy to ami tak bona. Amar Biasha na takte pare. Kintu ei book ta kintu takbe. Absolutely. Eh, Side by that's a very important point. Eh, isn't it? This, is, this, is, uh, so, this is this is uh, this is the this is the one kind of reference book. अपने जाइ बोलें हिस्ट्री बुक अपने जाइ बोलें जे आमदर ये बुक तो जुदी ना अपने हाथे नन अपने इधर से व्यवसाय दर के पाबें उन्हें पॉलिटिक पॉलिटिक्स जरा करें मनी जरा एचिप करें चे विशेष एचिपमेंट रोए चे जादेर फ्रॉम द कम्युनिटी फ्रॉम द कम्युनिटी तादेर का अपने इजीली फाइंड आउट करते वरें दिस इज़ द आवार आवार साइड बाय मोनिबा इज़ अब्सोल्युटली राइट इसन्ट इट इन टर्म्स and see the so for example in North Wales um, people like yourself or, or those before you the kind of achievements that they have uh, accomplished before you uh, and, and throughout the rest of the UK of course our forefathers people who have done uh, uh, well for example um, had we been able to have had a publication like this going back to the 1970s the 1980s and so forth we would be, have been able to look at that and maybe learn and educate ourselves as to what they were uh, up to and what they achieved उन्हें उन्हें कम अधिक कम्युनिटी तो उन्हें कैसी बन कर सकें हो तो सॉरी नहीं 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 सके ये सके फिनिश ओपन उन अधिक हो तो हम रहा हरिया जाते जब हम अधिक मुकिम्बाई हम अधिक प्रथम बांग्लादेशी बिजनेस ये चिलेन बा प्रथम बांग्लादेशी मिलियनर चिलेन यहाँ हो तो उन अच्छे आरों ने बोर्बोर बिजन a she book, J book, the K are a donor look are harbena. Well, we, 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 have, we have many, many examples of people who have done tremendously well. So, it's a mother projon, Karana mother, Bobishot projon, Mokamra, Shoman Kotobe, Amade Shoron Raktobe. I do need to bring side by side by in side by your observations about um, uh, the, the people who in previous generations have done well. The fact that we need to uh, ideally we should have had them in other publications, but of course, those who didn't exist now then. But now that it does, 
these generations will be um, remembered, hopefully, and looked at by our future generations. That's the point, isn't it? Yes, absolutely. As I um, uh, expressed to you earlier on, because in 10 years ago, as Abdul Khurim Goni, when he exposed me regarding these books, and I'm very proud, and I'm very, very uh, excited anyway. I'm very proud of him and his team and Sadat Karim because exactly what he has mentioned me at that time, to bring that to the book, to recognize our community, who is Bangladeshi, who is our, and is bringing it to the new generation for the expression. And I, I can see that, you know, and that has been proved. Well, well, well the point is, isn't it, that uh, uh, imagine, if you will, that this publication did exist 20 years ago. Yeah. So when we see that in places like Bangor, North Wales, yeah. we have a presence, a British Bangladeshi presence. Our forefathers, you, you know, your friends uh, and your, 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 your acquaintances who have established community centres, businesses, uh, um, you know, uh, places of worship, all sorts of networks and, uh, you know, uh, the kinds of things, the kinds of roots that they've laid down. We don't know who they are. Exactly. And it's going to be incredibly difficult, and it is incredibly difficult, for our present generations and future generations to do the kinds of things that uh, they did with the amazing challenges that they had. Their English was limited, their finances were limited, their experience of the systems and, uh, that are uh, uh, you know, involved in the United Kingdom were limited, um, unlike now. And, uh, and yet they have done well, and it's just a shame that it's not a, a retrospective publication. I do have a caller online. Let me see what they have to say. Hello, Salam alaikum. Caller. Hello, caller. Hello, Salam alaikum. Welcome, Salam. Thank you for calling. What would you like to say? Well, well, my name is Councillor Atikul Hawk. I'm actually calling from Salisbury. Councillor Hawk, like to take thank you for calling. I'd like to take this opportunity to thank Goni Bai and Shabbat Krim to go their way to come up with this fantastic initiative. Because who's who... What I believe is because what my parents or our forefather worked really hard, and they really worked hard for us to get this um, to this stage. Because um, and for them, for them to be acknowledged and to boost our young generation, it is it is a fantastic initiative. I have to say, because of that, like myself, I represent an area where there is no British Asian at all. I'm the first British Bangladeshi councillor for Wilshire. How did I get that? By looking at who's who actually gave me that idea that if my older brothers and people who actually set good examples, it, it really gave me that power that I want to achieve something for my British Bangladeshis. And who's who is the absolute heart of it for to promote that. And what's going to happen as well is also going to encourage the young generation to come forward and to do even better. Councillor Hockby... Councillor Hockby, thank you very much for your call. Thank you very much for your valuable comments as well. We know that you're doing some fantastic work in Salisbury, and we're all very proud of you for the, uh, for, for the amazing work that you do down there. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, we must go back to a break, and when we come back, we'll continue, inshallah, with the discussion about this initiative and this publication. So do stay tuned. Don't go away. We will see you soon, inshallah. Thank you. Assalamu alaikum. Welcome back to the final segment of this special program, the British Bangladeshi uh, Who's Who, a promotional program uh, flagging up the event, the gala event on the 9th of November of this year. And it's a special event, of course, this time because it's the 10th anniversary. So it's a, a, it's a, a wonderful uh, event that we're hoping to look forward to, inshallah. And uh, it's going to be the launch of the 2017 British Bangladeshi Who's Who. We've called back on to our panel, Farooq Bai and Aisha Appa. We've asked uh, Shafiq Bai, the general manager of Biman Bangladesh Airlines UK and Ireland, to remain with us. And joining them this time, ladies and gentlemen, is Kazi Arif. Uh, Kazi Arif Bai is the managing director of Prime uh, Estates. And um, it's a, a, a company which offers a, a lot of uh, um, different services. Not only does it engage in property sales and management and so forth, but he himself is an investor through his various companies and he also had his own TV show which was giving advice and information on property investment. The man to go to, the man who knows about property investment, and I know a lot of the members of the community are involved in property investment and he of course is, has a wealth of knowledge uh, of that particular uh, field. Therefore it gives me great pleasure to introduce uh, Arif Bai onto the uh, platform. Arif Bai, Salam alaikum. Welcome Salam. to the show. Thank you very much. Thank you for joining us. And I know that uh, in, uh, perhaps I may begin with you, I know that in previous years you've kindly attended the gala dinner, uh, graced us with your presence, and of course um, 
you know, uh, uh, engaged with the publication itself and supported it. What would you like to say to our viewers about your views on this particular publication, please? Uh, to be honest, I'm with a uh, who's who near about eight years myself. Uh, although who's who going to be celebrated this year, 10th uh, anniversary, it's really exciting issue for who's who uh, organizer, especially uh, Gorimbai and Shahadat Karim as well. Uh, so for, for our community, it's really great show. Of course, people can learn so many things. Although I know uh, there is uh, so many people uh, in the book as well as there uh, uh, lots of reference and is a different type of uh, uh, professional people, successful people for British Bangladeshi communities. People are there. So obviously, I'm engaged with this quite a long time. I really f I feel proud myself. I'm here, obviously, with the communities, people can touch each other in this way with the uh, Who is Who publication. So it's really uh, excellent uh, and only so far I can say uh, as a book-wise, reference-wise, British Bangladesh Who's publication is really very great. Sure, I know a lot of people see you on television. I know a lot of people see your profile and, and, and uh, featured in this particular book. Um, wh where can they get hold of you? Because you provide a valuable service. I try my best level. To, to be yeah. honest, there is uh, so many ways uh, people uh, get in touch with me and, uh, differently when I have uh, so many uh, uh, ways people contact You've with You've got me. an office in Brooklyn, as I understand yeah, it. Yeah, recently moved. So you're at the heart of the community. Uh, yes, I'm And you provide this very important service. And um, uh, you, 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 you've informed us about your engagement with the British Bangladesh Huzu. I just want you to please tell us about uh, when you've witnessed over the successive years new faces coming along who are now being featured and of course the book gets revised annually and when you see these new faces people who you may not have uh, encountered uh, because you work as a your profession is, is is in a particular field but you then see people from all walks of uh, life as British, Bang British Bangladeshis accomplishing and achieving how do you feel I feel great because the, the book can give me so many information. I can see successful people from here and there in different sector. So I'm sure that the other way the people, other people can see the same same way. They can see different type of successful people around in the different uh, sector as well. So I feel myself really great. I believe that uh, our uh, British Bangladeshi communist pe uh, people feeling good as well. They can get so many reference from there. Absolutely. Thank you, Shafiq Bai. I mean, um, you know. In the past, I think you've actually uh, uh, um, presented an award yeah. and um, you've seen the kind of achievements. Are you able to tell us a, f a bit about any of your memories about the who's who? And, yeah, and I can remember uh, I joined uh, UK in 2015 and I uh, joined and guessed myself in the who's who 2015. And at that year, the first British Bangladeshi High Court judge, Mr. Aklak Chaudhary. Chaudhary, that's right. Yeah. We have awarded in 2015, yeah. and as a sponsor, I uh, given this award to him. And when he has uh, uh, selected as the British Bangladesh High Court judge, then in Bangladesh, uh, frontline newspaper, you know, the Prothomalu is the biggest circulated daily. Yeah. They have given a picture of this, and they have uh, written a feature on his life history, everything is there. And that picture that I have given the award, it was uh, circulated on that day. Fantastic. Fortunately, I was in Bangladesh at that day, and I was in my office, in Biman office. Obviously, you know, all Biman officials, they knows me. And whenever they have seen the, my picture is in uh, Prathama Lone's paper, along with this judge, first Bangladeshi judge, then they asked me, what is this about? Then I told them, you see, we selected him as a British Bangladesh who's in 2015, and that British Bangladesh who's made the right decision to select him. <laughs> yes. Yeah, this is the you yes, see yes, the, absolutely, the, absolutely, this yeah. is the reflection of absolutely it. so it is really amazing and you know i also made the hero <laughs> <laughs> standing beside him on that day so that is the thing i say so british Bangladesh who's who their selection process and their criteria to selecting them in the book is perfectly all right fantastic thank you very much Ashapa. i know you in addition to your community engagement you really are um are pleased about the uh, progress of women within our community who are coming out to be able to uh, engage in the mainstream they're doing it all sorts of uh, uh, great professions and um increasingly being featured in the who's who what would you like to say about the increasing number of women who are being you know, uh, doing some amazing work within the community. Um, and, and generally. Uh, yeah. yeah, great. No, thank you again. But before I answer your question, I would like to say it's the 10th anniversary. I'm looking forward to attend the event and I'm looking forward to a bigger cake and a better, tastier, tastier cake. <laughs> so make sure, Goniva, uh, if you're listening to me, uh, the, 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 I'm sure 
10th anniversary is going to be something different and amazing, uh, but there is, must be a cake. <laughs> <laughs> now, um, obviously, um, I have been always uh, promoting uh, women as well as young people to come forward, especially in public life. I'm really proud that women are not in public life, but they are doing an amazing job. Um, in terms of education, you will see more women, young women are achieving higher grades than, than our um, sons or brothers, uh, com if you compare male and female. Um, in terms of profession, whatever profession you talk about, women are there. You had an example a few minutes ago when Suana was there. She is an e example in our community, a role model, and I'm really proud of um, Suhana. There are many Suhanas out there uh, who are doing an excellent job, but um, they're not coming forward. But they need to be inspired because look at you. I mean, you've been working so hard and you've been doing so well um, over many, many years. And is it not the case that a lot of people have been inspired by you even before the Husa came along? who've actually entered politics and engaged and reached out and done, done the kind of work. I mean, uh, don't we need more role models to come um, out, be featured in the book, so people can read about uh, them and say, absolutely, this absolutely. is what we should be but mirroring. But funny enough, uh, this morning I was talking to a colleague that Labour Party policy is to have at least 50% female uh, membership yeah. on, on, on the council yeah. um, um, uh, selection. Mm -hmm. Now, I was saying that this is an insult sometimes when you are saying, when you are saying that for the sake of equal opportunity policy, you want to have 50%. I I believe that women have be, women are more talented um, than men. This is what I believe, and I am I am right. I know that I am right. Uh, when I work with men and women, men can make more noise. They can shout and scream that yeah, I can do it. Women would say, oh, I'm not sure. But once the job is given, she can do a better job than the men. I can prove that well, anytime. Well, uh, thank you very much. I'm sure that if the roles were reversed and uh, a man made a comment like that about women, I think we'd be in hot water. Farouk, bhai, um, <laughs> I was just if I say I'm uh, not commenting. <laughs> yeah, absolutely. Um, can I just ask you, um, uh, as the charity partner, um, I, we would like to hear a bit more about charity because we know that the British Bangladeshi community is one of the most charitable communities out there. Mm -hmm. This is a community very often with limited resources uh, from uh, various quarters, sure. but you know, not only do the prosperous members of the community put mm -hmm. their hands in their pockets, mm -hmm. but even those who ha do not have such deep pockets, they themselves, you, s you can see from all the television sure. channels, when fundraising takes place, when we have the Rohingya issue, when you have mm -hmm. all sorts of other disasters all around the world, mm -hmm. not just in Bangladesh, but all the throughout way. the world, all over the world, absolutely shocking. Um, the British Bangladesh community, uh, uh, one of the first communities to reach out and say, we want to help. Mm -hmm. um, your charity mm -hmm. is just one such piece of that jigsaw. Please tell us about it. Well, w when we've set up Just Smiles, mm -hmm. the idea behind it is Just Smiles to me is an international global movement. What we want to do is help people around the world and just bring a smile to their faces just for a moment in time. So just for example, the last campaign, we worked in Bangladesh, Pakistan, India, Indonesia, Nigeria, Mauritius, Greece, a number of places, and we're still doing the international work. But one of the things I think we often forget is doing work on your doorsteps. So this year, what we want to do is, is a campaign on our doorstep. So over Christmas time, if you think about it, there's a lot of homeless people living rough. And you might think, oh, you know, the government should be helping, etc. Well, you could say that about every other cause that we're doing. So the other unique thing about me, what I'm able to do, is the way I connect with people. So this year, my campaign is really to connect everybody, Bangladesh, across the country. So what we are doing is already, you'll see this year, I've already persuaded a number of my friends who will be attending the event for the first time from Leeds, from Birmingham, there's many people from London, people all the way from Bournemouth, from Weymouth, from Torquay in Devon. So I'm trying to bring people together and these are the very people who will be supporting. So when we're doing the homeless work, it's not just in London, but we'll be actually doing these distribution in Leeds, in Birmingham, all the way in Devon, all the way in Bournemouth. So it's that thing about bringing people together and actually thinking about people here as well. And I'm not saying stop giving to Bangladesh, stop giving to Palestine, stop giving to Rohingya, keep doing all that. Keep building the houses, keep doing the water wells. But just for one moment, just think about, you know, they say charity begins at home. I want people to actually think, let's try and do it here. This is our home. As far as I'm concerned, this is home. I'm not Bangladesh. I've lived, you know, seven years in Bangladesh, but the rest of my life here. So where do I have more affinity? I feel part and parcel um, of fabric of this country. So it's really important that we try and engage with the mainstream as well. So one of the key things that we're doing, I'm engaging with schools, I'm engaging with youth clubs, I'm engaging with big corporations, I'm engaging with small businesses. All of them are coming together. And one of the unique things that we're doing, we'll tell you, um, hopefully by the time we come to the event, I'm doing a national charity night. 
I have many friends who work in restaurants, but I don't think anybody's ever tried to connect the whole country all the way from Edinburgh to all the way down to Devon. And that's exactly what we're doing. On 31st of October, there are many restaurants all across the country taking part to a Just Smile charity night. Fantastic. So um, in terms of your engagement as a charity partner yeah. with this, uh, with the Who's Who publication, yeah. uh, you believe that it's a valuable platform to be associated uh, with? And absolutely. I, I think I, I mentioned in the first section, yep. this is one of my favorite nights of the year, whether we're a charity partner or not. I've been going for the last eight years and I've always brought lots of different people. And one of the key things is like all of us individually, yes, we're doing fine. But I think it's important to bring, whether it's younger people or people from around the country who normally don't come. And that's one of the things I think uniquely every year I bring to Gonibai and, and the Who's Who is bring people who don't normally have access to an amazing evening. Farukbai, thank you very much. Farukbai, we're coming to the end of our show, but I'd like to ask you, please, if, if you may, because you're coming to the British Bangladeshi community for, as an, uh, not as an outsider, but from a different jurisdiction, yeah. um, coming, uh, uh, say, two and a half years ago and experiencing the British Bangladeshi community uh, from an engagement perspective. I know you've been here before, but as an engagement uh, uh, perspective, when you see that um, the, the younger generation um, uh, engaging not only uh, within the community but also in the mainstream. Um, are you reminded of the comments uh, that our forefathers used to make that not only will the British, that the Bangladeshis will be helping themselves but they'll be helping others? Yeah. And that's precisely what Farouk Bai is talking about, isn't it? Um, don't you feel proud that the British Bangladeshi community is being able to engage and interact, assimilate and uh, 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 provide that kind of um, engagement within the mainstream community and in fact wider shows exactly you know the first i express my thanks to your forefathers who made a foundation stone here mm. in last 50 or 60 years ago and now the second and third generation british bangladesh is working now <laughs> and what they're doing i'm really excited with their performance and with their progress. For example, in terms of charity you have mentioned, I have seen that any kinds of problem of Bangladesh, first British Bangladeshi, they raise their hands to help the Bangladeshi people. Mm -hmm. I have seen not only the Rohingya issue, but before the flood victims and also many, many issues, British Bangladeshi, all sorts, all the recognized people of this community, some sorts of charity they are doing. And I am also engaged in some charity and I have seen because the, when they are going to Bangladesh, they travel to Biman and they inform me, yes, we are going for the charity, for group ticket, they are uh, asking for me and we help them, we try to help them, we try to engage with all sorts of charities. So I really appreciate this issue that uh, they are really value the people of Bangladesh because th this, uh, the Bangladeshi people is their origin. After a success in this country, they did not forget their origin. This British Bangladeshi people. I really appreciate them. I'm really proud of this British Bangladeshi people. Sure, everybody. Thank you very much indeed. Uh, Arif, my final thoughts, please. Uh, what would you sure. like to leave our viewers with thoughts of regarding the Uzu and in particular the, the 9th of November? Uh, really, uh, that's uh, obviously, thank you. Uh, technically, I would like to say, especially for our year, young stars, uh, although. Uh, there is a uh, success of people around them taking time and the young star can look how the uh, 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 senior people gone through with it so people can monitor it like uh, maybe I can forecast myself in 10 years time or five years time I'll be there so that's gonna be big uh, big thing for the young stars they can follow the, their uh, their generation how they come from the uh, I by already uh, expressed this way. So I would, I would say that uh, especially it's a very good Brilliant. event. I have to stop you, but only because of time. I must come to Al Shapa. I know you're looking forward to the cake. Um, <laughs> a lot of pressure on going by now and his team. But um, what else are you looking forward to? Entertainment, fabulous food? You have mentioned everything. I would just say that I would like to say a big thank you to the team who are working behind the scene. They've been working for months to ha make a huge success. And I wish them all the best to make sure that is a successful event, but then everybody's support is needed. Everyone needs to be attended. Thank you very much, Aisha. And it's only because of time that I'm going to have to stop you there. Ladies and gentlemen, thank you for joining us. Um, do keep the British Bangladeshi Who's Who initiative in your press. It is the community's initiative. It is to celebrate and recognize the achievements of the British Bangladeshi community, hopefully to inspire and hopefully to be a reference point for future generations. And as I've said before, it's just a shame that it's not retrospective, that we uh, did not have such a publication in preceding decades so that we could look up to our uh, forefathers and see what they did because they did some amazing work and left uh, Great Britain in the great place that it is with the ties and roots that they have left 
uh, it as. Thank you for watching. Uh, we hope you'll all stay well. Keep us in your prayers. Inshallah, we will see you soon. Salam alaikum.